Good morning, everyone! My name is Ryan Suva. You can call me Raichu for short. I'm here in Boracay! <laughs> and I'm gonna be here for just a week. So, since this is going to be a short trip, I decided to check out all of the cafes here. Since I love coffee, I am going to rate the coffee shops around the area. But, I won't be rating those that are available in the Metro too, so no to Starbucks. Well, that's just pretty much Starbucks. <laughs> okay, let's go! First up, let's head on to House Brew. The cafe is cozy. Even if their main door is wide open, it is not warm inside. There's a table smack at the middle, which I think is the best spot to stay if you want to enjoy your coffee, plus the view of the beach. I mean, just look at that picture-perfect view. I didn't know they had a second floor, which was surprisingly nice too. There was only one barista when we arrived, and the place was not busy. Nothing really special on their customer service, it's just a typical greeting that they will get. They don't have much variety in terms of their coffee choices, but they do have some unique sounding fraps that may pique the interest of frap aficionados like the Choco Bomb or the Alma Delight. I like their coffee. I tried their caramel macchiato and it did not disappoint. I'd say it was just right for its price. House Brew is a district's cafe, so it was just situated right at the middle of Station 2 Beachfront. I like the view it offers, and I'd give them plus points for taking advantage of that. I think this place is good for chit chat with friends. I wouldn't be surprised to see some folks staying at the second floor to work though. They do have free Wi-Fi for their customers. I'd give it a solid 4 out of 5. Cafe number two is Coffee Stroll. There's a certain cozy feel when you enter the cafe. It is just so inviting. It makes you want to lounge and chill almost immediately. If you want to have a beach cafe experience, this is a good place to start. Their staff is very friendly and knowledgeable too. Like, just watch this. Okay, but more on top of the station shop. It's a salty maple naman. It's para po siyang kanidyan din. But instead na caramel syrup yung ginamit, maple po. They have the typical ones and then something for the adventurous folks. A little limited on the variations, but what I do like is that they also let you choose which beans you want. And all of them have a distinct coffee taste. Just hearing maple syrup in the drink, I had to try their salty maple. At first sip, I liked the strong coffee taste. It was really smooth. Unfortunately, the milk and the maple syrup was weird for me. I don't think it's that bad, it's just not for me. And since I liked the coffee part, I had to give it another try. This time, I settled for their specialty milky espresso. Now this was something more my speed. Coffee Stroll is a fairly new coffee shop in Station 1 and it's at the rooftop in front of the beach. Need I say more? This place is definitely for the work from anywhere, folks. It is ideal to work here. They have power sockets everywhere. I just kind of wish they had Wi-Fi too. I'd rate them a 4.5. The coziness and the vibe of this place is really attractive for me. Next up, is a very new cafe called Muni Muni. I thought it was just the open air seats at the ground floor, but to my surprise, it had an air conditioned second floor and a cozy rooftop. The interiors are amazing, super comfy and chill. The color scheme is fun, but not too busy for me. Very friendly staff and super accommodating. They just opened last April 2nd. I hope their customer service remains like that even after a few months. 
They have the classics plus some other offerings that are unique. Since they have just opened, they pretty much have limited offerings at the moment. Their drinks are quite unique. At least for what I ordered which was the Ocean Latte. With the amount of effort and presentation, it was priced right. Though I think they have room to improve on the taste. It is at the heart of Station 2 Beachfront. It offers a great view and we were very fortunate to be the first ones to arrive in the afternoon because we scored these good seats. This place is also ideal for the work from anywhere folks. I suggest that you go here in the afternoon when it's extremely hot outside because they have really good AC. They don't have power sockets available though so charge up your phones and laptops before going here. A big plus is that they do have reliable Wi-Fi access available for their customers. With all the pros and cons, I'd still give it another try. It's a 4.3 out of 5 for Muni Muni for now. Next is the famous Real Coffee. The place doesn't look like the typical cafe. It looks more like a restaurant actually. Nothing special on the ambience, but they do have an overlooking view of the beach which is always a plus. Despite being in the business for years, I feel that they have not dropped the ball on customer service. Must be one of the reasons why they're still around. I think they have a good variety of drinks to choose from. Just go ahead and check it out. So I tried the iced real coffee because it looks like their flagship drink. It was okay. I didn't jump up and down for it. It was just okay. For that, I think it's a bit pricey for 170 pesos. I like staying somewhere between station 1 and 2 when I go to Boracay, and real coffee is a little far. But at least we still get this view. I'd give it a 3.8 out of 5. My focus was really with the coffee and the cafe experience, and I was not too happy. Blackfish Coffee Bar is up next. It was yet another surprise waiting. I only saw the cafe from their signage along the beach and I did not expect that their interiors would be this good. Staff is great. I didn't even bother asking what their specialty is. The waiter just went in and offered it proactively. They had the usual drinks and offered something unique too. Fun fact, their signature drink has activated charcoal. This was by far the best one that I've tried. It does not look good, but it sure as hell tasted like heaven. The Blackfish Coffee drink is a must try. It is not beachfront, which is the biggest con that they have. Though the cafe is still very accessible because it's just a few meters from the beach. I'd consider this place as an alternative workplace or a hangout place even. Considering everything, it would still be a 4.3 out of 5 for me. On to cafe number 6, Cafe Maruha. I really like their outdoor lounges. They only have 3 of these so make sure you grab them whenever available. The design is going to give you ultimate beach feels. Staff is generally friendly. I asked them if I can use the outside lounge despite the construction going on at the other side and they moved the table a bit just so they can accommodate my request. They have plenty of drinks to choose from. They have my all-time favorite which is the Spanish latte so that got me excited. Though maybe sweet for others, it was just right for me. Their coffee is also priced on the more expensive side but I'd give them props because of the presentation. And hey, the important thing is it tastes good. I like the lounges because of the view, but Station 3 is just too congested in my opinion. I could not enjoy the view as much as I want to. For my vegan friends out there, they have a variety of vegan options for you. I definitely stay here to work, but only if there's an outdoor lounge table available. I'd give them a 4.4 out of 5. We now head on to Silong Cafe. The interiors are simple but cozy. 
I have a soft spot for small local businesses, especially when the service and the product is right. And this one just feels right. Since it's just a small cafe, just one barista is enough to man the whole place. And this makes their service more personable. Though maybe a little limited, I think they just have the right amount of variety for both the cold and hot drinks. They really just focus on coffee here. So of course I tried their Spanish latte which they called Apitong. I can still taste it and I'm still craving for it even after coming back to the city. I also took a sip of my friend's drink. He had the acacia or the sea salt latte. And to my surprise, I liked it even more. Considering the quality of their coffee, you will definitely get your money's worth because these cups go for only 130 pesos. It's roadside. This has its perks and downside. Downside is that you don't get a beach view. Upside, it is a lot less crowded and you can concentrate on stuff that needs complete attention. I would go here if I want a reliable coffee fix, if I'm on the go, or if I have an important meeting or anything that needs a lot of focus. This place really holds something special on me. I don't know why, but I just love this place. 4.5 out of 5 for me. Our last but not the least is Sunnyside Cafe. They have a yellow and white motif which gives you a bright good morning feel. This too feels more like a restaurant rather than a cafe. They have friendly staff here too. I guess it's a common ground with all the cafes I've visited so far. They have really interesting choices here apart from the usual coffee drinks. Their coffee is really good. I really like Vietnamese coffee and from all the cafes I reviewed, they are the only ones that have it. They are at the far end of Station 3 and this is the farthest I walk since I usually hang out around Station 1 and 2. I'd go here if I want variety, but I won't go here for work, probably to hang out with friends. Because of its location, it's a 3.9 out of 5 for me. Maybe when their Station 2 branch opens, I'll update my rating. Well, there you have it. I honestly enjoyed all of them. Depending on my mood or agenda, I'll give all of these awesome cafes another shot. I had a few more cafes on my list but I could not do all of them. Maybe next time. Have any of you tried any of these cafes? Share your experience too. Please don't forget to subscribe. Till next time. Bye! Memang itim-itim yung ngigibing ka.